Hi, my name's Tom Griffin. I'm from Yamaha, and today I'm at Craft Music to talk about the DTX 700 series of electronic drums. For a great deal on your DTX 700 series drum kit, check out the bundles at Craft Music. They get you everything you need to get started with your new kit. The DTX 700 series features the DTX 700 drum trigger module, which is our newest addition to the DTX lineup. I'm sitting here in front of the DTX 700K, which is the first model in the 700 series. With this model, you have an 8-inch 3-zone DTX pad snare, you have 7-inch DTX pad single-zone toms, two 13-inch cymbals for ride and crash, a 13-inch dual-zone hi-hat that comes with the included hi-hat stand, a KP65 pad wide enough to accommodate a double beater pedal, and it features the steel pipe racked RS500. Moving up from the DTX700K, the next model is the DTX750K, which gives you a 10-inch 3-zone DTX pad snare with controller, 8-inch 3-zone DTX pad toms, two crash cymbals, a 15-inch ride cymbal, all chokeable, all on the RS700 steel pipe rack system, which has ball joints for all the toms and boom arms for all the cymbals. The flagship of the DTX 700 series is the DTX 790K. It's a five-piece kit featuring all top-of-the-line pads. You get a 12-inch DTX pad snare, 10-inch DTX pad toms, all three-zone with a real-time control knob for tuning or for tightening the tension of the snare, two crash cymbals and a large ride cymbal, all chokeable, and a big and beefy kick pad, the KP125W. It's an outstanding kit that comes with the RS-130 aluminum rack. The symbols of the DTX 700 are very expressive. Not only are they three-zone and chokeable, but you can also mute the symbol. Check this out. Okay. Only Yamaha lets you do that. Now with the hi-hat, it's pressure sensitive. So as I apply pressure with my foot, I can pinch the hi-hats and really get those little nuances. So there's a lot of the in-between sounds as I open it up. The DTX 700 series is all based around the new DTX 700 module. I'm very excited to tell you about this because it really is a new breed of drum trigger module from Yamaha. Let's take a tour of the front panel. Starting here, you have a phones volume and a master volume. Right below it, you have a group mixer for different drums, so you can bring up the kick, snare, your toms and cymbals and make easy edits to the sound. Here are your modes, which features kit, song, and click. Within the kit mode is the instrument, and I have my menu here. And shift will let me operate the remote control feature I'll talk about in a minute, or I can mute any sound that's currently sounding. Below that is the dedicated recorder section, where I can record my drums freestyle or in sync with the built-in songs. I have a metronome on and off button, and the large plus and minus buttons let me change kits with my sticks, or with my fingers, a store button, an exit button, and a new jog wheel that also functions as an enter button. The dot matrix LCD is great because we can draw cool pictures and it has soft function buttons that change depending on the mode you're in. It's very easy to operate and one of the coolest features of all, it comes with a handy stick holder. The DTX 700 drum trigger module features 1,268 drum percussion and effects voices and comes with 50 preset kits and there's 10 user locations. However, this is a new breed of DTX module. All of the memory in here is overwritable by the user. So if you're a heavy metal guy and you don't want a hip hop or jazz kit, you can load this up with all rock kits. Likewise, if you want all Latin percussion kits, you can have 60 Latin percussion kits. 
It's all backed up on USB, and you can initialize any factory kit at any time or copy any factory kit to any location using the menu jobs. It really is an exciting new departure for Yamaha. Yamaha proudly features samples of its own drums in their drum trigger modules. So we've got Oak Custom here, Birch Custom Absolute, our Maple Custom Absolute, and the Beach Custom Absolute. We also have two newly sampled kits, a Vintage 70s and a Vintage 50s kit, all with new symbols as well. Let's give it a listen. With the dot matrix display on the DTX 700 and the soft function buttons right underneath, we've really made this very easy to operate and to edit to get very professional results. So let me show you what that's all about. Let's say I want to edit an instrument. Well, there's a new instrument button right below the kit. I'm going to work off the preset kit one DTX 700 and press instrument. As I move around the kit, the display shows me what instrument is there and I can easily change it with the dial or with the buttons. Okay. I can also do things like change the tuning. Okay. So if I want to tune my tom up or down, it's very, very easy to do so. We have a new feature called muffling. Muffling will actually muffle the sound. or open it up without changing the pitch or the quality of sound for that old custom drum or whatever drum you chose. The DTX 700 also lets you import sounds into the built-in 64 megs of memory. With the USB device connected, press import and scroll to the sound you're looking for. When you find it, simply press execute and enter. It imports the sample and stores it into the flash RAM. Flash RAM means that the sounds won't disappear when I turn the power on and off. So now I can hear my new sound and I can uh, play with the tuning, the decay, or any of the other parameters. Moving from kit to song, you have a couple of demo songs and then you have the songs that are from the DTX 900. These are really nice songs. They'll sound a little bit different because of the melodic sound set on the 700 series but they give you a good way to practice with a virtual ensemble. Mute the drums by pressing the drum button and then hit play. You can also record your performance in sync with the song. There's a dedicated recorder area right down here. To get ready, select the song you want, hit record, Hit play, and then you're good to go. Hit stop on the recorder, and the song automatically stops. Hit play on the recorder, and you can listen back to your performance. Right below the song mode, you have the click mode. Press it and you can change the tempo with the wheel or with the buttons. You can even change the time signature. Press training and you'll see the training modes. We have rhythm gate, groove check, and the measure break feature. Groove check works like a scale that measures your, if you're early, 
on time or late. You can measure hits from all inputs with this screen. So it's very easy to see where you tend to place your groove. Change the mode to rhythm gate and you get a range in the center. As long as your strikes are close to the beat, you'll hear them. If they're too early or too late, you won't hear them. Here's what that sounds like. Ten minutes a day with rhythm gate and groove check can really help you internalize the click and be a better timekeeper. The neat thing about instrument editing is that the parameters change depending on the instrument that you're editing. For example, you saw me muffle a tom and tune a tom, but what about a cymbal? Hit the cymbal and you can adjust its size. The next function button lets you change the sustain. So I can add more sustain or I can have less sustain. If I'm on a snare drum, I have tuning, muffling, but hold shift and I can adjust my snares. This tightens the virtual strands of the wires, and if I loosen them all the way, it's a throw-off. Another thing is with the hi-hat. When the hi-hat is open, how open is it? Here you've got a clutch height parameter. So I can open the hi-hat all the way, where it's a nice sustain, or I can close it so that the cymbal is just hovering over the other one. Very easy to dial in just the right sound for your hi-hat, snare, tom, cymbals, every instrument on board. You can even do it with custom samples. Another nice thing about the instrument mode is something you can do with the kick and hi-hat. What if you want to play a double bass pattern, but you don't happen to have a double beater pedal? Well, you can very casually simulate it by holding the shift button and pressing double bass. Now my left foot plays a bass drum, so I have double bass. Very easy. Get back to single bass, hold shift, turn it off, and now I have my hi-hat again. One of the variables that you get with electronic drums is the trigger setup. And this gives you user trigger setups so you can store different velocity curves, pad settings, gain settings, so that you can optimize the expression you get from the module with different pads or triggers. Right in the center of the kit screen is a trigger button. So here I happen to be playing on the DTX 700K and I've set it for standard response, which gives me a wide dynamic range with really no possibility of crosstalk. But if I want a little more expression, I can dial up the ultra expressive setting. I have to watch out for crosstalk, but my very, very pianissimo strokes will all be picked up. If I'm the kind of rock guy and I, I really want to get loud and proud, I'll use the loud and punchy or the narrow setting. Okay? By having these settings available, it really lets you tailor the performance of the pads to your particular playing style. You have the ability to customize your own and it's just very easy to get the performance you want, whether you have 700, 750, or any uh, custom kit that you want. Once again, I'm Tom Griffin from Yamaha. It's been my pleasure today to talk to you about the DTX 700 series. If you have any questions, contact Kraft Music's product specialist and they'll be able to help you out. Thanks for watching.